So we've talked about the new sounds that come with Cubase 7.5. Now let's talk about the new VST uh, inserts or the effects that come with it. So there are three great quality effects. The first one I want to start with is this new algorithmic reverb called Revelation. So you can see we've got early, early reflections which help us uh, determine the quality of the room we're in or the size of the room. So these are quite important for creating natural reflections or natural um, reverb environments. As we move over, we've got modulation. Then you can see we can control the low time in the, um, in the tail and down to the low frequency, high time, high frequency. That'll kind of make sense. But if we move through here, you can see we can control the size and the shape and the density. So things like whether we want more of a mono reverb or a stereo reverb. And then of course, most importantly is the mix. Um, how much we're actually gonna mix or blend this sound in with uh, whatever source we're using. So ideally, I think reverbs are often used in bus sections. So you've got a vocal and then you send a certain amount to the, to the bus section and maybe you'd put a compressor after it and a few other effects post to control the reverb. Um, but you can also put reverb straight over a track itself. If, if the reverb's turned up, then it's gonna sound very mushy because the reverb's gonna be 100% of the mix. So always drop it down a little bit if you've got it directly over a track. So how does it sound? Let's just play some of these synth sounds and go through some of the presets. There's loads of presets here. Okay, so I've just been through a few presets, but you get the idea. There's loads of presets to play with, and if you want, you can create your own parameters and then actually save them up here into the media bag. So that's Revelation. Now let's go and have a look at two very new effects inside of Cubase. I'm just gonna to go to my master channel here. Let's unmute Groove Agent. So we've got some drums. Okay, so let's go over to my main track and let's put this guy over the top. So Magneto is making a return. We had Magneto in an earlier version of Cubase. It's basically a high quality tape based simulator. So now it's built in to the actual uh, inserts channel and also Magneto is also included in the channel strip as well. So what can we do with Magneto? Well, we can run it in dual mode, which is the same as having two tape based simulators, one after the other. And change the saturation. We can automate it if we want even down to tape solo, so we can actually see what's going on with the tape itself, which is quite a cool effect as well. Um, it's very nice that we've got a high frequency adjust on this, because you don't always want to have a tape-based simulation covering the lower end in a particular sound. Okay, so that's Magneto 2, um, a nice addition to the uh, Cubase effects range. Let's now go to a brand new effect. Um, so this is Loop Mash effects. So a lot of you will have played around with Loop Mash before. Um, this is the actual effects component of Loop Mash built into an insert section inside of Cubase. So if we hit play, let's just have a look at what you can do. Okay, so I'm just basically hitting these effects randomly, but if you really want to control them live, um, you can change, of course, the, uh, the note type. So we've got down to um, semi-quavers through to, to minims there. But the other thing we can do with Loop Mash, which is pretty cool, is assign a MIDI track. So let's say add MIDI track. Now that we've got the MIDI track, which is hiding in here. There we go. Let's say Loop Mash FX and hit add track. 
So this is all building on the live element that now we've got included inside of Cubase with those new track versions. Um, <clears throat> we just want to click on here and assign this to stereo out, sorry, to loop mesh, which is over the stereo out channel. So now as we go through, we should be able to control these effects using the MIDI keyboard that I've got sitting beside me or any type of MIDI controller. So once again, I'm just hitting notes on the MIDI keyboard at random, but you can see there's loads of different effects to play around with and loads of uh, uh, different settings using, using different time settings inside of um, loop mash effects. So three new great effects. We've got revelation, we've got loop mash effects, and we've got the, the return of Magneto in the version of Magneto 2. So in addition to the instruments, three new killer effects that are included in Cubase 7.5.